guys, today we've got one of the most hyped sneakers of this entire year that's dropping right around the corner. A sneaker that I always wanted and now finally got. And the new Jordan Foam Runners. So let's kick it off with this pair right over here. The one that I've been wanting for a very long time. This might go down as like one of my favorite pickups of this year. Now there is definitely going to be some people that are not happy about it, but uh, hey, at least uh, the people who wanted them get to get them. <sighs> Okay, this is the Nike Dunk Low J-Pack Chicago. And these things are looking good. And the leather is way better than what Nike typically does on a pair of Dunks. And uh, I kind of want to start this just by saying my condolences to anybody who paid like four, five hundred dollars for these like a year ago. That is savage because these are now not only just an easy pair to pick up for retail, but they're going for like retail on the secondary market as well. Yeah, pretty wild how we've ended up here and they're looking super clean perfect time for them to drop as well right in time for the summer where I think I'm definitely gonna break these things out they've got the nice puffy tongue and of course the puffy ankle area get some extra laces which is always nice white which I think I'll throw on it's crazy because the SB J pack has been one of the most like sought after SB dunk pack that dropped like back in 2020 to my knowledge I'm not entirely sure if these things dropped for you guys on the US so let me know down in the comment section but they dropped here in the EU in the UK yeah Nike in 2024 is bringing back a ton of colorways that were like reselling for a ton of money it's absolutely plummeting the resale price which uh, I think is a good thing because this is one that I always wanted just was never going to pay that price so yeah let me know what you think of these did you get them did you try and go for them or did they just not drop in your region drop your thoughts down in the comments all right next up uh, not really too sure what to expect here and also don't think that these have released yet they they may have done in some regions, but they definitely haven't released here in the UK. So, oh, so they do come in a box. There you go. Just very, you know, nondescript. Just black with a jump man on the top. So let's pop them open. Ooh. Okay. This is the Jordan foam runner. This foam is a lot softer than what we've come to know with Jordan brand or Nike foam shoes. The box lid also gives you a little description about the design of these, basically just saying, don't think that we knocked off the foam runners. We actually put a lot of thought into these things. Hey, let me just slide my feet into these things because I'm so curious to figure out if they're actually comfortable because this foam feels incredibly soft. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. Jordan brand, you have done something pretty crazy crazy here. Perfect fit as well, even though they looked a little bit big, but that's a perfect fit. Right, I'm gonna do this stepping back thing, but I don't know how much you can tell right now. Again, just not the best outfit, but just kind of see what you think. These are mad comfortable. So freaking comfortable. I was not expecting that. I was kind of expecting to make fun of these things because I guess just the general look of them. They're really soft, especially on the footbed, which is exactly what you would want. I'm definitely going to be wearing them around. I'm even planning on doing like a top 10 most comfortable slide. So yeah, if you have any recommendations in that regard, then let me know down in the comments as well. Let me know if you've tried these things out, if they've dropped in your region. Very curious to see what you guys think. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these down in the comments. Let's keep it moving. Today's video is sponsored by none other than one of my favorite brands, Represent. And they are going hard this summertime with some really cool new pieces. So I got my hands on the Spirits of Summer tee, which completely sold out and they have just restocked it. And what's really unique about this t-shirt is the pigment dye and spray technique that they used. It gives it like this washed or faded effect that makes the whole t-shirt look so good just on its own. All of the graphics on the front and the back are puff print. And I actually like the look of this t-shirt so much that I also cut the matching hoodie. Both are 100% cotton, feel super great quality in hand, and of course because of the colors, they're super easy to style. I paired it with the new baggy cargo shorts, which are made of cotton as well, so again, super breathable, perfect for the summertime. Threw on the vintage black Apex sneaker, which is just insane quality all over tumbled leather. For the accessories, I got the Powered by Represent trucker cap, which they didn't even ask me to talk about this, but I have to because it is the best fitting cap I have ever bought. And finally, because summer 
summer is upon us, of course I had to break out the sunglasses. These are the Californias, which are made in Italy and just look phenomenal. I'll leave the sizing information and links for everything down in the description, so make sure you check that out. And I will mention that along with all of this stuff, there's also gonna be a brand new summer capsule dropping on May the 29th, which I highly recommend keeping a lookout for. Huge thank you to Represent for their continued support on this channel and a massive thank you to you guys for always using my links when I have them. Again, helps out the channel massively, but let's get back to it. All right, next up we got uh, Double. I uh, might have got a little bit of carried away with this one because I went on there to pick up a pair of Jordans came out with something a lot crazier. Here we go, we got uh, a nice, a uh, little bit of an interesting box, all speckled, and you got the Jordan Flight logo on the top. This sneaker is like a rarity in 2024. Whew. Okay, we're talking about the Sale Jordan 5. These are a really, really nice colorway, but it almost feels like they should be a craft variation of the Jordan, because, like, look at the tongue. It's, first of all, a very different material, almost like some kind of fabric. But then you just have, like, this overlaid exposed foam, which is very interesting, something you don't often see. The entire upper is quite soft. It feels like a synthetic nubuck or suede. But, yeah, the main thing is I really wanted this colorway. I think they just looks so clean and I believe this is like the only Jordan 5 that's dropped this year. If you're into 5s, a great pickup for the summertime. These did drop some time ago, maybe a week ago or something like that. So let me know if you picked a pair up and what you think about the Sale Jordan 5. Damn, they kind of go with my fit right now. Like I could just chuck them all. Obviously I need some different socks, but like, yeah, this is just going to be such a wearable colorway. I'm so glad I picked these things up. Here's the part where uh, I definitely got carried away. Now these things just look so wild and so ridiculous. Ridiculous, you know me, I couldn't help myself. Oh my god, it's upside down. This is the Matthew Williams Nike, I don't even know what the hell they call this. Okay, so this is the Nike Zoom MMW TRD Run. A very clear, like, super shoe, but it's a collaboration with like a high fashion designer brand. But the design of it, the appearance, very clearly resembles the Alpha Fly. However, it's almost just like a simplified version. Now it is extremely light, and that's probably half due to the fact that this freaking upper is like fishnet, but for your feet. You also get some fused areas around the toe box, you know, so your toes just don't punch a hole through it. The foam is what's really got me hung up here because it doesn't feel like Zoom X, which is, you know, Nike's like soft softest foam material and it doesn't feel like it's included in here. Yeah, so I really don't believe that this is Zoom X. It's not as soft and squishy as like the Invincible runs. They do have the shank that's running through the midfoot of the shoe. So you do kind of get that feeling of like propelling forward. So I assume these are made for casual wear. Like it's a designer brand collaborating with Nike on a running shoe. But are these made for running? I mean, I could definitely run in them and it feels like the tech is there. But if you are gonna buy a shoe for or running, you would just get the alpha flies. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a little bit of a weird one, so let's keep it moving. Final package is the big one. People have been waiting on these and highly anticipating them, so let's find out if all of this hype and stuff is actually worth it. It's got a regular Nike SB box. Oh man, that color hits. This is the Futura Laboratories Nike SB Dunk Low. Wow, they're a lot brighter than uh, I guess the images, although the images were pretty bright as well, but these colors are really impressive. Man, it's just such like aesthetically pleasing colors, like the bright blues, turquoise, and purples, and then I guess just the combination of everything mixed in together is really, really nice. I was fully prepared to say how much I just think that these are overhyped. I'm not like a massive Fatora guy or anything like that. I'm not not even a massive Nike Dunk guy, but these colors are so freaking cool. They do get an extra pair of laces, which are purple. I'll definitely keep the ones that are on here because they're like two-tone. You've got like a bluish color and then more of a green or turquoise down towards the forefront of the shoe. Now the materials, like I was expecting, are pretty different. You've got like a softer, almost nylon feeling toe box. And of course that goes for the side panels as well. The rest of the shoe feels a little bit more like a traditional canvas. Now I was trying to figure out whether it's just the materials that makes this toe box look so thick. I think it's a combination of like, it makes it look thick and then it also just is thicker. If we just take a look at the Chicago ones, you can see that there's a big difference. Like this toe box is a 
thick boy. It's very, very tall. Which honestly, I kind of like the look of. Maybe some people are not going to be a fan of that. I've got a little bit more height. I wouldn't say it's any less narrow than a pair of SB Dunks are. So I would definitely say stay true to size. You'll have a little bit more room in the toe box area, just a height wise. Um, but yeah, standard Nike SB Dunk sizing. Both of them are kind of mismatched from left to right, but not in a really, you know, like obvious contrasty sense. So like for example, if you take a look at the toe box, you can see that one has a ton more blue. The other one has like a little bit more purple and green. Same thing on the inside, like around the back, you can see by that FL branding, you've got a lot more blue on the left pair, whereas the right one has a lot more of that kind of like red or brownish color. What's really nice is that the branding, so the FL that you find on the heel, that is kind of like a rubberized or a puff print. Same thing goes for the signature that is on the outside of the shoe. You've got like a green suede Nike swoosh, which feels nice, soft. And the rest of the shoe feels really nice. It feels like it's put together very, very well. Last interesting detail, right on the forefront of the shoe on the inside, you've got some exposed stitching. I think this pair of shoes does really represent the main draw factor to a lot of Nike SB collaborations, which is just extreme scarcity and hype that comes along with some of the most iconic pairs. Like we can't talk about a Futura Nike collaboration without talking about the ones that preceded this colorway. Obviously the ridiculously expensive off-white ones that were auctioned off and go for like 10 grand. Dunk highs that were like so ridiculously limited so they are obviously placed up on this pedestal of Nike Dunk history where it's like those are so amazing. So when it comes to this one and I guess you could regard it as a general release meaning that there's more pairs available than the previous ones. Roughly we're looking at about 30,000 pairs worldwide, at least that's the rumor. It's still one of the most limited shoes this year, one of the most limited dunks. However, compared to some of the other Futura Nike collaborations, this is like the most accessible. So look, it's hard to recommend this pair of shoes because I know that they are going to sell out like that. They're gonna be extremely hard to get your hands on. Yeah, you can already allocate like 50 to 75% of that to resellers, and then you're left with hardly any pairs for the average person who wants to pick these things up. So all I'm gonna say is like, if they end up being a price point that uh, you're pretty happy with, I would probably pull the trigger because I think it's just a really, really nice colorway. Now, the reason I'm going into a lot more detail into this pair than the other ones is because I'm not gonna be doing a review on these. I just wanted to give you guys as much information that you need about this pair of shoes before they drop, which is right around the corner, May the 22nd. So, hey, if you manage to get these things for retail, huge W. I really, really like these things, but yeah, I can't see anything good happening with the resale price for this pair. Let me know what you think of the Nike SB Dunk Low for Tura Laboratories, are you going to be going for them? If you want to see the entire $20 Yeezy collection and find out if it's actually worth it, click that video over there.